A glittering and meaningful occasion. And all week long, the football chatter has centred around this game and these talented teams. Which one will outwit the other in a stadium both packed and passionate? So many questions to be answered on a day of destiny. It's Everton, they face Manchester United, and it's live on EA TV. Well, the weather has certainly cooperated. It's a perfect day for football here at Goodison Park on Merseyside. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Everton up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. In position. Real chance. A oh, strong hand on the ball. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, although it's down as a 4-5-1, it's more likely to be three players in behind the main centre forward. And those three are key to this team's creativity. The lineup for Manchester United. Harry Maguire plays alongside Johnny Evans in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Options in the centre. Throw in to Manchester United. Superbly read and executed. McNeil. James Garner. And United regaining possession here. Anthony now Casemiro Calvert-Lewin moving the ball nicely but can they forge ahead Harrison can he put them in front Garner there for him great defending here Ducouré pressure applied can they make something of it Anthony on to Juan Bissaka Evans Harry Maguire now Diogo Dallo on the ball. Bruno Fernandes has it. Spot on with that tackle. Onana. Garner. And so there we have it. The first half has come to an end here at Goodison. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. And he cuts in from the wing. Good strength to keep the ball. Oh, but they've lost it now. McNeil. And Everton pushing forward with options available. Might jump in front. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. 
Sufyan Amrabat. And quick thinking defensively. Calvert Lewin. This is looking threatening. Well, out of play, under pressure. Here's a change for Manchester United. And a fine tackle. Now, who can he play it to? And into the last 20 minutes. Anthony. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Oh, in it goes at long last. Deadlock broken. Will that be the one that gives them the win? Well, it's not always the case, but these players have a real bond with Eric Ten Hag. You can just see it here. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Well, he's got to make some changes now just to get his side back in this game. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? With the owner of the silver hatchback with the license plate GR55JKK, please contact the nearest security guard. Thank you. Well, we're in the dying moments of this game now, and Everton's still narrowly behind here. Time running out, Stuart. Well, they've certainly lacked a goal threat up to this point. There's been little invention, no real combination play around the box, and the crosses have been erratic. But there is still time to find that moment of inspiration. And now then Yuma. Well, do they have it in them to level this? Just the challenge that was required. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. And there goes the final whistle. No cause for celebration in the Everton camp. A defeat for them here. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, in the final analysis, a spectacular contribution from Bruno Fernandes. Eye-catching stuff all round. And Stuart, I wonder what you made of his performance. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.